Here is a hallway of an elementary school. Let's see what is happening with Antonio as he rushes to his classroom to begin the school day. Antonio, what is going on with you this morning? Oh, um, I had a tasty breakfast, a few cookies, and frosted sugar flake cereal. No wonder you're acting so wild. How are you going to focus in Mrs. Gibson's classroom? Oh, you know, she's pretty cool. She'll understand. Well, she told us to eat better in the morning and back off from all that sugary stuff. We need to take care of our bodies so we can be our best. Yeah, but that's all we had for breakfast. Well, there was some oatmeal, but that tastes like cardboard. Well, let's see what happens in reading once the sugar high is gone and you start falling asleep. Good morning, class. Today, let's review the healthy habits for a super you again. Getting 8 to 10 hours of nightly sleep, being physically active for 60 minutes a day, eating a healthy diet, and staying calm by managing your mental and emotional health are great ways to keep you feeling your best. How well are you doing using these new habits? I had a good night's sleep and a healthy breakfast. Excellent. Those are two of the healthy habits. I stopped using my tablet 30 minutes before I go to bed. I am doing all four habits in my life. Nice, Alice. Antonio, how about you? Well, I'm trying, but I'm not a sports person or into all this health stuff. And yeah, I probably do eat too much sugar. Well, we all have to eat a balanced diet of fruits, vegetables, grains, and protein in order to have enough energy to get through the day. It's important to make the effort to improve. Hopefully you'll be able to focus in reading. I think I'll be okay today. My breakfast gave me enough energy to lift up a car. We will see. Now, let's talk about the last healthy habit, managing our mental health and stress. I'd like to know, too. My parents are always telling me to calm down, but they never tell me how. Mm, I understand your frustration. Stress can really make us feel uncomfortable. Well, we have started practicing something that can help us use the power of our wise hearts to feel better. I could have really used this last weekend when my little brother kept stealing my tablet. Ugh, he can be so annoying. Oh, <laughs> Well, heart-focused breathing can help you when you feel stressed. I love how I felt when we practiced together that one time. It made me feel really calm and nice inside. Exactly. That's why it's a great way to manage your stress. There are many ways to use it, like before a test or when your brother is bothering you. <laughs> so let's practice some heart-focused breathing right now. Focus your attention in the area of your heart. Imagine your breath is flowing in and out of your heart, breathing a little slower and deeper than usual. The class practices heart-focused breathing for 20 seconds or so, with some placing their hand on their heart area. Wonderful. We'll use this technique every morning to help us get calm and focused. Now it's time for individual reading. Pull out your books. After a few minutes, Mrs. Gibson walks over to Antonio. Antonio, you're falling asleep again. You'll have to finish your work at lunch. Are you getting enough sleep at night? Well, sometimes. How about exercise? <laughs> Not really. Unless you count walking into the kitchen to get a snack as exercise. Hmm. I will reach out to your mom to see how we can work together to help you. I care about you, so let's find a way to get you energized so you can do well in school. Everyone, let's go out to recess and get some exercise. <laughs> <laughs>